In this video, stating the types of battery isolator vehicle and house, please read for details and wiring up power to a truck camper. The simplest isolator is a manually operated switch. Next up, the change is an electrically controlled switch, i.e. solenoid contactor. Here we have a dialed isolator. Charging current is split between the two batteries and isolated otherwise. The smart isolator takes the solenoid contactor and adds electronics to turn it on or off based on the battery voltages. A couple manufacturers solenoid contactor isolator schematics, either controlled by ACC or ignition voltages. A couple more basic schematics based on either a smart isolator or a diode isolator as an example. Here's the engine bay of my Sun Raider motorhome. It had a solenoid contractor, bad, and I replaced it with a diode isolator. From this slide, we can see how the voltage of an LFP battery is higher than either a standard or AGM car battery. This causes the cutoff voltage to be something percent SOC versus 99% AGM, 100% standard with a smart isolator. For the Colorado, I was debating between a smart and diode isolator. The table below, my thoughts on what to use for different battery chemistry configurations. The wiring diagram for what I used on a Colorado. The status LEDs really help. The circuit breakers will be wired off of the battery at the mega fuse. This slide shows the original 4-pin trailer connector and the upgraded 7-pin connector, which adds 12 volts, backup, and brakes. Here's the parts list. Please see my website for links to these parts. This shows how the smart isolator is enabled at 13.8 volts by indicating green on either battery terminal and fails to turn on at 12.9 volts. Cut-in voltage greater or equal to 13.3 and will stay enabled until 12.8 volt cutout voltage. See part 2B electrical for the second half of this video. Hope this helps. You can help me by liking and subscribing. Thank you.